are we blessed please you must trust god that after this morning service you don't just rejoice and share the grace and dance back to your house recycling your current realm you must look at where you are today and wave it goodbye and say i'm tired of this i have come past this mountain long enough in ministry in life how about influence sadly we could not touch on church growth yesterday in detail there are secrets and there are principles people don't just come to listen to you just because you have something to say no no there is there are dynamics to this thing listen every time you see mastery don't dishonor it and don't pretend it is not there mastery is proof that principles have been kept the patterns of God are what controls his glory the glory of God will always come to honor his patterns when you see the glory of God in a man's life financially when you see the glory of God in a man's life in terms of leadership it is proof that the patterns that control that result have been kept there are women here that cook very well your region is known for delicacies of, of all sorts there are women here right now if we say cook for everybody who came here they will not be afraid all they want is time and the resources to go to the market they can guarantee that in the next three to five hours we'll all be smiling here that's mastery as anointed as i am if you give me that kind of assignment you will know that he gave on to some apostles some caterers some chefs we have we have this attitude of disdain in our world we see people with sustainable results and believe they were just lucky i think they are just lucky he stumbled across an anointed man but solare is just lucky i'm sure maybe it's just opportunity no no mastery mastery is proof that you are operating by laws you can have short-term success that is true but you can you can have continuous effortless success look how long jesus has been reigning look how long god has been on the throne does that look like a mistake kings reign for seasons and he brought them down so when we worship him we don't just worship him because he is god we worship him because he is old we respect the laws that govern the throne he's seated upon why do you think he's called an ancient of days time is part of the reason why we worship him the reason why we have a healthy respect for the devil is not because he's bad we don't worship him but we we appreciate the fact that he's called that old serpent time there is knowledge good or bad that comes with time so the bible says even though you are in christ do not be ignorant of the devil's devices time has given him an advantage he has mastered people he's seen kings come and go he studied man as a project light this morning is an exhortation so let's go straight